what is up everyone welcome back to our brand new video and in today's video i'm going to show you how you can play apex legends mobile on ld player without emulator detection without ban so i hope this video is going to be very important and very helpful for you guys if this video is helpful if you like this video then please do subscribe to our channel and stay with us that's all about the intro let's jump into the main things so i'm not going to show you everything in details because i already have too many video about uh, this topic actually so if you wants to um, if you wants to need to know uh, everything's like in details then i'm going to uh, give you a link in the description just go check out that video then that video it will be help you so in today's video i'm going to uh, give you two things like one is ld player link this one is the specific version of ld player and the other things i'm going to give you uh, apk and obv file it's a 32 bit apk and obv file so you have to download that both of them like 32 bit apk and obv and this ld player and after that just you have to be uh, install um, the apk then you have to paste the obv inside the uh, android folder so i'm going to show you how you can do this so after install this specific version of ld player uh, i'm going to close it and i'm going to show you so after download both file like apk and obb and this ld player so um in right side corner here you can see it's a, a file manager icon over here just uh, click on it after click you will get a pc shared folder you have to uh, paste apk and obb file inside of this folder okay after that after paste here you can see i already pasted over here so after paste you have to close this uh, folder and uh, close these things and you have to go inside this folder it's system apps open it and you will find a file manager over here after open the file manager uh, you have to go inside the picture folder here you can see it's a picture folder down there uh, where is the picture folder this one so after open that picture folder you will get this obb folder over here i'm sorry i'm sorry just go back here you can see this obb folder over here and it's a apk for file over here so you have to be install this apk file from here just i already have installed it over here so i'm not going to install anything so after that you have to uh, check this box here you can see it's a box over here just check it after that just um, you have to uh, click you have to sorry you have to um, click on it after that uh, click on this line you will get uh, internal storage over here open this folder and uh, go inside the android folder and you have to create an obb folder how to create just click on um, this three dot over here after that uh, the new folder option over here just uh, click on it and you have to create an obb folder over here that's a small letter obb after that just open that obb folder and click on this three dot over here and uh, here you can see it's a copy selection here just copy selection here click on it after that um, your uh, copy will be started and uh, it will take like uh, two three minutes to uh, copy that obb folder over here so after copy this obb folder just close it and uh, close these things and um, close everything and if it's possible just restart your uh, ld player after restart you have to uh, change some setting in ld player so uh, in resolution if you want you can use the tablet mode if you want you can use mobile or ultra whatever you want i'm using the ultra wide over here it's a 2400 two, two x 1080 dpi 320 so i'm using this one and the model section you have to choose the samsung s20 uh, i think it's s20 ultra just cho choose it i already choose it and now here is a, a game setting you have to choose uh, 120 fps i already uh, choose over here just choose it and save it so this is the uh, what it call uh, ld player setting so i'm i, I forget something just um, after that after uh, open the setting you will get a cpu and ram section over here just choose the maximum cpu uh, whatever you have right now so if you have 6 core just choose 6 core if you have um, 8 core processor then choose 8 core so i i have 6 core processor so i i just choose 6 core over here in the ram section i have 32 uh, gb ram but um, i'm using the 8 gb this is the last maximum uh, ram section over here just i'm i'm choose uh, i i just choose 8 gb 8 gigabytes of ram over here after that just save it and uh, if it's possible restart your ld player again and the, after that just start this apex lens for bile and everything will be work perfectly i promise you there is no emulator detection there is no um what it could ban and everything is 
literally fine. So you can play um, MSLS Mobile without any kind of hassle, without any kind of problem. So I already have the, um, I already have a video about the key mapping and everything in, in detail. I go, I'm going to give you the link in the description. Just go check out that uh, video and that video will be help you to uh, uh, help you to um, in detail how to install this uh, game on LDP and everything is working fine. I already played a true theme match and I'm using my main account right now. So everything is working fine. So you can do this. You can play. I think so. But uh, do not use your uh, main account right now because just uh, just play with your uh, secondary account and uh, after two three match uh, use your main account and it's not completely safe. I'm, 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 I can't guarantee you because uh, it's a uh, this 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 way is not the completely legal. So. Uh, use these things and uh, I hope you can play uh, Epicenter's Mobile without any kind of hassle over here. So uh, here you can see um, I'm using, uh, I'm going to uh, go inside the firing range and I'm going to show you it's working perfectly or not. So um, I hope this video is going to be help you and uh, this video is help you to play Epicenter's Mobile on PC and this is the only one way to play Epicenter's Mobile right now on PC. So I hope this video is help. If this video is help, if you like this video then please do subscribe to our channel and stay with us and uh, you will get everything's in the description so go check out the description and uh, that's all that's all and uh, you see everything's is working fine and i'm gonna uh, take a weapon and i'm gonna show you it's working or not so wait 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 wait, wait, wait. where where no not this one okay this one so here you can see everything's is working fine and uh, there is no problem no glitch and uh, nothing nothing everything is working fine here so just you have to uh, set up your key mapping uh, on your way so this is my key mapping you can take a screenshot over here and it will be help you to uh, how to set up a key mapping so i'm using the four finger because uh, i don't know why <laughs> so uh, i'm using four finger here so you can change everything in settings like uh, you can see in the control section uh, everything is working here so uh, in emulator uh, it's not working like you can't go inside these settings here but uh, in this emulator you can do whatever you want so that's all about this video i hope this video helps if this video helps if you like this video i already told this so <laughs> bye bye take care